we know that ano uh, when you made ano uh, movies sa Viva Max talagang mga bigating mga director yung mga nandoon so how how was your reaction po nung 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 ano nung pinagyan kayo ng pagkakataon to ano direct a movie in Viva Max like Posoy sure Um, I'll start by saying I I actually don't speak much Tagalog. Um, oh, yeah, so yeah. I, yeah. Okay. I, got, I got your question. Do you understand it, Derek? Yeah, a, a little bit. Your question was, uh, what was it like? Uh, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I, I will repeat it, uh, Derek. Uh, how was it? How is it uh, working? What's your first impression when they they uh, no, they give you this uh, no, this project, a uh, movie, a film on uh, Viva Max? Yeah, so um, originally I had a film called Pusoy that was a, a bit different. Uh, it wasn't like a sexy film. It was uh, <laughs> it's still about gambling. It's still about family. Um, but I pitched it to a producer here. And um, he said, said, you know what? Like, uh, you should repackage this a little bit for Viva Max, make it a little sexy. And um, that's what I did. <laughs> so... Um, Yeah, it was really exciting. I never, you know, it's like, it's something I never thought about. You know, sometimes you're even a little scared of putting sex scenes in because depending on the audience, it might, um, it might narrow the audience a little bit. So to make a film where you know that's more what it's geared towards uh, is, is interesting and exciting. I never really got to like work those muscles out before. So I, I really liked it. It was really exciting for me. Yeah. Derek, is it your first time to, to do a sexy film like this? Yeah, you know, I've, I've directed, like a, I did a commercial that had people in lingerie and I've done things where people kissed, but um, never, never, uh, never this extreme, you know, like there's, There's, it's like BDSM, you know, like there, there's whips, there's, they tie people up <laughs> um, because it, uh, you know, the film has uh, like a master and submissive, a dominant and submissive hierarchy to the sex scenes. They're not just like people having sex. It's like um, there's hierarchy, there's power uh, involved. So there's, uh, there's a lot going on in the sex scenes. So it's not just like people making love it's like also like uh story related and uh, uh theme related Derek, how how is it working with a uh, new generation of stars uh on this film how is it working with them and of course this is your first uh sexy film uh, how how are you going to protect them personally with their with the love scenes with the kissing scenes like that something like that Yeah, so um, it's it's like new generation, but then a little bit of the old generation because Baron Geisler is in the film. So he's a more experienced actor. And then um, some of the actors, they don't have sex scenes, but they're like Julio Diaz is in the film. Like he doesn't have a sex scene, but he he acts in the film. So there's there's like older generation also. Um, how I protect them is I have like, they're very tastefully done, the sex scenes, you know? Like, um, we, they're not, it doesn't feel like softcore porn or anything like that, you know, it's, uh, I didn't look, I wasn't inspired by porn for the film. I was inspired by, like, other sex scenes in other films, like art films, and um, uh, my own personal life, like, things that I personally enjoy um, a little bit. So it's not, uh, it shouldn't be gratuitous. It should be, if you watch the film, it's not gratuitous. It may be like intense, <laughs> um, but it's not, uh, uh, hopefully like we tried to create a very uh, healthy, comfortable environment, a very safe environment. Um, so, you know, we asked them all their requirements, all their restrictions. Uh, we re really respected that. I didn't, We didn't try to push that at all. Like if there's something, there's a few things that they're uncomfortable with. So we just, we just said, we're not going to do that. Last on me, Derek. Uh, why should uh, Filipino people should watch this, uh, this film? In one word, how do you describe your film? One word. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Daring. Yeah, if, if I can elaborate, I, you know, it explores like underground gambling uh, in, in uh, different gambling dens. Uh, so it's kind of a interesting world to explore. And then um, it's about a group of card hustlers. So you get to see the power dynamics between them. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's a really like daring film. Congratulations, Derek. Uh, looking forward to this movie. I'm excited yeah. to watch this film. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Alan. Uh, um, well, also, I hope, um, hope everyone can just kind of not only focus on Pusoy, but you know, the fact that uh, you know, I'm an American. And I, I moved here, and I love, I love making films and commercials here, and um, I hope to be here for the breadth of my career and um, I really love the culture here and um, I don't see myself leaving. And I really found a, a home here and I, you know, I really want to collaborate with um, other, other uh, make, make more films here and make more commercials here and collaborate with people um, that are from here. Um, If anyone wants to reach out to me, I'm open to, to do projects and um, me. And uh, I'm just very, you know, open to, <laughs> to, to um, expanding my network and, and meeting more, more folks. Thank you and congratulations. We're looking forward to watching Soy. Yes, thank you.